Hello and welcome as today's date comes in that of a Thursday. It's the 21st day of November 2019. My name is Derek and welcome to the Money Charts channel where are like always all bets, trades and of the like within each his own risk and their own reward. I'm still without a keyboard on this computer. Although I did make a ratio trade last night without one on Bittrex. Wasn't that difficult to do actually. Although I didn't place an order in for what I bought. I sold a DGB and I bought a GRS. Working without a keyboard, not that difficult, but there's a lot of things that I obviously I can't do. I do have another computer. So this morning I did wake up and uh, needed a few trade, a few trades needed to be made. First off is Tezos, which I uh, logged on to Binance on a computer I've never logged on before, which is my backup computer. And then I also needed Tezos to put in, so I had to put my private keys in, the atomic wallet, all that kind of stuff. And you know, a lot of that's like, man, I mean, this is how I like it in the sense that uh, showing you the control that uh, you have in situations like that. And then, of course, you go into Binance and the wallet's offline. So it becomes yet another waiting game. As far as how this looks right now on the 15-minute term, of course, having a nice breakout from this morning. So I want to sell this against a lot of different things, but more importantly, breaking it. So maybe this will work out and I'll get much better significant prices. Of course, the last time I said that, oh, not working out. And maybe it still will, but uh, here's Komodo now down to the 949. I passed on getting the 1050 when it was up to here, or 1080 or so, meaning uh, Bittrex wallet for Komodo seems to be fine. So I, I, sort, I mean, I definitely would put a small test to see if it would work if I did it. But I haven't been able to send funds on Binance for quite some time. I'm not going to do KMD divided by KMD divided by BTC simply because I don't have a keyboard working right now. But there's a lot of things I can do without it. However, it's still surprisingly uh, just not working. And you know, this is not, this is not the first time or even the second time I've seen stuff like this. And even this is about the longest. There's tied for the longest of how long this wallet has been offline on Binance for. And this is something I just I can't accept. So there's a good chance, probably 100% chance, I'm going to sell all my Komodo suit and just turn it into something else. Right now I'm trading it against Litecoin. I'll probably trade something else against Litecoin. Maybe well, I'll figure that out. So that is KMD. Did however make a couple small trades. Ripple uh, getting Theta and getting HBAR or Hardera Hashgraph on the daily chart. Nothing too fantastic, but with the rest of the market going down, it works out. Ratio here is uh, well, high of 31.75, currently in at 31.70 at the upper end of this. So band is confirmably flat now. We'll see if they can attempt to uh, establish a break by getting above the 18 average of highs on the single hour term time frame. I guess I I missed out on a good number. Not not really too much of a deal, though. big deal though. Uh, 15 minute, just going out now. So I would have got somewhere in the 31.12. And wow, I didn't know this was going on. Well, we'll see what can happen because, like I stated here, now that it's managed to come up to the upper end, if it can get up to the 32, 33 ish kind of area, then we'd be looking to attempt to have a nice little a break out above this. And because of theta going down, this is how it worked out that the ratios worked well for me. As we have this little rally come in here, back down to this level of support. We'll see what happens. Newly rising 18 at that must hold area. Yeah, speaking of must hold area, I was mentioning that with Bitcoin and it didn't hold it. It's down 6% today as this level here. It didn't hold. Which means that a break above this here is a failed breakout. It had a lot of resistance amongst this level. And even falling a little bit below one leg lower than the lows to me was a fine situation as far as 
this being a sufficient uh, start of a break higher, but no. So now we're down to this previous key levels, not quite, but pretty much at 73.50. Usually, if anything, between hitting it pretty much exact, noticeably above or noticeably below, and it's barely noticeably above right now, it's usually below, I would think, is the most common of the three. But again, at that area of key support, it's already decently down, but that doesn't mean it can't go down further. And if it does, the size of this red candle is probably going to be smaller to the one that will precede it. As far as the three-day chart, we can see too large of a move below the 18. Technically, it could still hold and stay above it, but it's tough to give it the benefit of the doubt. And now we're working on three, four. This is period number six of consecutive down moves in a row. And if we break down below this layer of support, well, we'll be looking at the low 6,000s. We'll be lowing at this, looking at this level here. For on the weekly chart, we're breaking down on this, but still significant move above the 18, which means on the long term, 18 average of lows comes in at the low 6,000 mark. And if we take a look at this on the Coinbase exchange, where I got the Fibonacci lines, with the scroller back again, this is the monthly, so obviously resisting this and still above this line. So the 18 lows and this line is coinciding right now. And on the daily chart, I guess we'll go to the three day for this. As we can see it, we got to this level, resisted it twice in a span of less than a week. Have not been anywhere near it since. We uh, supported the 98, then breaking through that last move, getting above here. Is that failed breakout to that level and piercing above? And as it was breaking down on September the 22nd, September 21st at the start of the uh, new season, uh, we ended up uh, having a de decent move. So the confirmation that it was going to most likely go to this, which is a no noticeable leg lower from where we are here. And usually it pierces below extra. So that's why you look at that 6,000 low number or even hitting below the 6,000 in the five something starting number. It would, it would not be that not only would that not be that big of a surprise, but it seems very expected at this point. Meanwhile, with this Bitcoin volatility, well, we uh, don't have much within the Bitcoin dominance. I'm going to finish this off with gold and silver, and I haven't even seen it today. So it's going to be new news to me. Last night, it was pretty much unchanged when I went to bed. Okay, gold is uh, down to 30%. So that means silver. Well, I can see this is down 0.1. So silver is down like 0 0.25, 0 0.3. And there's nothing much going on here and point down 0.25, so a quick look at gold. Okay, that's a quick look at gold. Thank you for tuning in. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.